So the Treasury Department launches a new strike force to crack down on illicit funds behind fentanyl trafficking. Stu, this is a story in Blaze Media today. Just tell me, just from the headline, what you think this story is really all about. Give me the headline one more time. Okay, Treasury Department launches new strike force to crack down on illicit funds behind fentanyl trafficking. Okay, well, I mean, it seems like, a, you know, you got the stuff coming over the border, maybe in from China. They're, they got a crack team making sure that they can stop You this. really think that's what that's about? Well, no, it's probably something terrible, but I'm just saying that from the headline, <laughs> yeah. it would say, okay. But what, did, I'm going to read it. Tell me, <laughs> stop mm-hmm. when you realize what this really is. Mm-hmm. Okay. Biden administration Treasury Department announced Monday the launch of a new strike force dedicated to cracking down on illicit funds behind fentanyl trafficking. Mm. Agency recently formed the Counter Fentanyl Strike Force to marshal the Treasury's resources and expertise in a coordinated and streamlined operation to combat the trafficking of illicit fentanyl. Any idea yet? Hmm. You will. It noted that the strike force will be led by the Office of Terrorism and mm. Financial Intelligence and IRS Criminal Investigation. Okay. All right. Okay. Mm-hmm. You're, you're starting to get it, mm-hmm. right? Okay. Uh, in Monday's statement, Secretary of the Treasury Janice Yellen reaffirmed the Biden administration's commitment to stemming the flow of deadly fentanyl into communities across the United States. She noted the new strike force will allow us to bring the department's unrivaled expertise in fighting financial crime. Mm. Treasury will use every bit of every tool at its disposal to disrupt the ability of drug traffickers to peddle this poison in our country. Um, The strike force aims to crack down on money laundering networks. Do you know what this is about yet? I mean, it seems like a money grab by the federal government. Here comes the key financial. F- e- sorry, go ahead. E- go ahead. Financial monitoring of okay. every citizen. Okay. Financial strike force mm-hmm. aims to crack down on money laundering networks, particularly those using Bitcoin. Yes. Mm-hmm. Go- yes. <laughs> that was- this is, you want to stop fentanyl? You, you close stop, down oh, yeah. the border. And you know what? It really would help, uh, Glenn. Because uh, obviously the way to stop fentanyl is to stop Bitcoin. Yes, it is. But isn't it, it? the only way to really stop, it's not just stopping Bitcoin. You need a central bank digital currency that you can turn off for purchases of these bad things. Exactly that right. Way you could stop people from doing all these naughty things. Everything would go through the financial crimes division That's perfect. of the IRS yeah. and the Treasury. So it's, it's like a Department of Pre-crime, something like I don't know yeah, exactly the something right, like something that. like something that. Like that. That'd be We'd have to come good. up with new speak to be able to come yeah. up with the, with the right term. I like that though. Right. That will solve all of our problems. <laughs> You'll stop all. the problems before they start. Yes, yes, I like that. I like that. Did you see this um, this story uh, from Los Angeles where they had this potential serial killer and how they caught him? No. So he was apparently executing homeless I'm always, people. I hate these stories because I'm always like, good, serial killer caught. Oh, yeah. The way they did it really bad. It's, you know, and it's happening. This is all over the country. But basically, this guy had a car. He went in. They, they found, they saw him uh, around one of these neighborhoods. He went in and killed someone, like some poor dad in his garage on his mm-hmm. way home to, to see his kids, um, along with a bunch of homeless people. Anyway, they got his license plate, and they just, every time anyone pulls into Beverly Hills, they scan all your license, uh, every single license plate. So they, he just drove through Beverly Hills, and they're like, oh, there he is, and just went and got him. Because <laughs> every single person who enters the city has their license plate scanned to see if they're of any problem at all. And wow. the people of Beverly Hills are like, we're really rich, and we, we don't want people here. <laughs> that we don't like, so we love this idea. Sometimes just because they're driving a Prius, yeah. <laughs> we say, get out. Four get cylinders, out. get out of town. Program.